In today's gospel, we're given a powerful vision of the extent of the mercy God bestows upon us. The more we strive to live a holy life, a virtuous life, and live according to the gospel teachings and also what the church teaches, the more we realize how much mercy we need and how much mercy is actually given. For every holy man or woman in history knows this real necessity of mercy in their pursuit of sanctity. They realize this great gift that Christ has bestowed upon us and the need to receive it again and again to truly be transformed into becoming as holy as we ought to become. We begin to essentially realize the large debt we have been forgiven, and this gives us the ability to be very merciful to others around us, especially when you understand the circumstances of some people's lives, when you have this broader vision of the real reality of the fall and how real people struggle in their fallenness. And then the other reality that people are truly enslaved to Satan in their ill use of freedom. I love this quote from St. Bernard of Clairvaux, and I believe I mentioned it once before, and he says, If you have eyes for the shortcomings of your neighbor and not for your own, no feeling of mercy will arise in you, but rather indignation or contempt. And here in today's gospel, this guy is seized first because of justice. And after being seized, he didn't sit there and understand his own injustice and his own shortcomings. But it was only out of fear of being punished, without a real desire to change his life. He didn't see his own wickedness in his heart or his actions, the failure of those who are unrepentant and moving toward damnation. This is what causes him to seize the guy who owed him just a little bit. He was blind to the idea of self-reflection and the call to become just in society. Also, he didn't understand the mercy given was meant to change his heart, his life, and even change his vision. He sought to, to take advantage of God's mercy. And we notice he actually never received it, but only in this exterior way and went back to his wickedness. God's mercy didn't touch his soul, but went over his head. This is why if we don't have a contrite heart for our sins and truly strive to change, mercy and forgiveness are just words we hear with no effect, which becomes obvious to our neighbor. When mercy from God is truly received into our hearts, we are transformed to see the good we must do definitively and to gaze with mercy, but further to see where we can extend mercy to others in our lives. For when mercy is truly received, it pierces through us to reach others we meet along our journey.